computers powered by human brain cells are officially entering the market. Proponents of the technology say it's key to achieving artificial super intelligence. One way we like to think about this is that if Neuralink is the troop try to put a chip into a brain, why not go the other way and put the brain onto the chip? In the future, they envision robots learn and adapt like humans while neuron-based simulations help eradicate diseases. If we could use biocomputers to power cloud computing, we could decrease the power used by AI by thousands. Skeptics note the technology is nascent and question its scalability. Others worry about the ethical implications as studies indicate that lab-grown brain organoids show signs of sentience. Melbourne startup Cortical Labs just launched the world's first commercially available biological computer made of human brain cells. Called the CL1, the biocomputer integrates human neurons with silicon chips to create a so-called synthetic biological intelligence system. The startup says it's suited for applications ranging from medical research to robotics. Portical Labs first gained attention in 2022 after teaching approximately 800,000 human and mouse neurons on a chip to play the video game Pong. Research published in Cell claimed the neurons learned and exhibited sentience in the simulated game environment. Their new commercially available biocomputer, announced at Mobile World Congress 2025, builds on the breakthrough. Cortical says the way it leverages intrinsic learning capabilities of biological neurons is valuable for drug discovery and developing next-generation robotics. It contains hundreds of thousands of neurons, comparable in size to the brain of an ant or cockroach. Human neurons grow across a silicon chip enabling them to send and receive electrical impulses. The computer connects to Cortical Lab's biological intelligence operating system. With the platform, users can deploy code through neurons to perform computing tasks. The startup says the neurons learn and adapt more efficiently than silicon-based processors. The CL1 is housed in a body in a box system with internal life support mechanisms. The internal system includes pumps, gas systems, and temperature controls that keep the neurons alive. The neurons have a lifespan of up to six months before needing replacement. According to Cortical Labs, the computer uses significantly less energy compared to conventional AI and computing models. The company says it has guardrails in place to address ethical concerns about sentience and consciousness. The brain-powered computer is priced at $35,000, with first shipments expected in June 2025. Dr. Han Wang Chong founded Cortical Labs in 2019. Now, Pong is merely the start of a journey, a proof of concept that neurons outside of the body can still process information. We now potentially have a pathway to invalidate Moravec's paradox by combining the strengths of both biological systems and silicon through hybridization. One way we like to think about this is that if Neuralink is to tr try to put a chip into a brain, why not go the other way and put the brain onto the chip? The doctor turned entrepreneur sought to develop proto-artificial general intelligence devices. Um, the only true generalized intelligence that we know of is you and I, or even our dog or our cat. What are, what, what is, what's the commonality between all of these things? And that's biology, right? Um, they all have a central nervous system, a brain made up of neurons. Um, and we said, why don't we use the same substrate, the same material that gives us all intelligence to try to tackle this question of artificial generalized intelligence the startup secured $15 million in funding in 2023 to advance its biological intelligence technology. Prior to founding Cortical, Chong co-founded Cloud, a medical device startup backed by Tencent and Ping and Ventures. The founder told futurist Robert Scoble the living tissue-powered computers will drop in price the more production is scaled. So if you make the stem cells that go into this yeah. chip, from your blood, yes, they'll have similar properties that your 
you, you have. Correct. If you're if you're yeah. allergic to a certain thing, if you put that thing in here, it'll freak out, right? Yeah. The CL1 brain computer is also accessible via the cloud. The startup calls it wetware as a service. A growing number of scientists around the world are exploring the use of lab-grown brain cells for advanced computing. They say biocomputers powered by human tissue could learn more efficiently, use less energy, and adapt better than traditional AI. Merging biological human intelligence with robotics and AI is potentially divisive. A key drawback is the uncertainty of brain organoids developing consciousness over time. The likelihood of this occurring remains speculative, and today's lab-grown brain models are considered too simple to achieve any form of awareness. In 2024, Chinese researchers introduced a new brain on a chip technology called MetaBOC. The team from Tianjin University and Southern University of Science and Technology let Shanghai Eye in their lab to capture this footage. The brain computer interfaces use real human or animal brains, but our brain on a chip interfaces uses a brain cultured in vitro, just like the organoid cultured in a cell culture dish in this model. The researchers believe this technology could combine human like and machine intelligence. This would mean robots and other machines could think and learn more like humans. They've used the hybrid system to autonomously control simple robots, performing tasks like obstacle avoidance, tracking, and grasping. The goal is to create smarter robots that learn and adapt on their own. If we could use biocomputers to power cloud computing, we could decrease the power used by AI by thousands, actually to the point using artificial intelligence would have a negligible impact. Even Sam Altman says the current situation is not sustainable. That's Fred Jordan, co-founder of the Swiss startup Final Spark, which offers its brain cell-powered computers via the cloud. The pricing starts at $1,000 per month. These biocomputers are up to 100,000 times more efficient than traditional silicon-based hardware and could accelerate AI development by mimicking human brain learning processes. Universities can rent access to four organoids, with some projects receiving free access. VinylSpark also offers dedicated organoids for industrial applications. As brain-on-a-chip technology enters the mainstream, Elon Musk's Neuralink is expanding into robotics. The technology could eventually evolve to integrate tightly with Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot. For more on that, check the related video.